What's up everyone, welcome to a brand new series, <clears throat> 7 Days to Die. I just thought I'd show you from day one how I do things. Um, so, first we just need to bash these uh, start quests out of the way. So that I can get the trader quest. I'll show you what talents I'll take. And just basically how I like to do things. Check these things. <clears throat> so I've totally deleted my other save, which was like day 150, and that's basically so I haven't got a choice on what I play. So I will always be coming back to this because it's so easy to get comfortable with with uh, having all the guns, having all the gear, and unlimited food and whatnot. Just loot this because it's going. I'm going to need feathers in a minute. Couple more bits and bobs while I'm here because they're all over the place. These like branchy ones give you wood, which is better than punching a tree. And it's easier to pick up rocks than get rocks any other way at the start. Couple more rocks. A bit more word. So we we'll craft the bed row, so we'll get that out of the way. And I think what I'm just gonna do quickly is Hit exit, options, <clears throat> video, and I'm going to change this setting to 990 on the end, and when I apply it, like so, now I can see that I need food and drink on the bottom of my tool menu, which is, I mean, most people would be able to see that anyway, but for some reason my TV and my computer settings, it always seems to screw it up. So now we'll get a stone axe. <clears throat> Got that done. Craft, fibla uh, craft plant fibre pants. Which in America is quite a normal thing to call it, but we call them trousers here. Craft a wooden club. Put that on the bar. It's going to be very useful to start with. Primitive bow. Make an arrow. Hold R and then you can load your arrow. Right, now I need a gather word. We've got an axe now so it's a bit easier. No more punching bushes, we can just chop a tree. Now it's saying craft a building block. Done. Put that there a minute. Lay that there. We'll upgrade it. Now I need two pieces of rock. Ah, let me just get this. Feathers and eggs are Priceless at the start. One rock. There we go, we've got a few of them here. Grab them all. There's my block. <clears throat> right. I like to place a, place a campfire on this block so you always remember where you started in the game when you stumble across it in the future. Right, 2.2 kilometers to the trader, which is quite a mission. So, what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> where are we looking at? Middle of the map. Is I'm gonna quickly take some talent points. 
so that I can have an easier journey. Now, what I want <clears throat> is, let me see, well insulated. This will just stop you starving and getting thirsty so quick. Um, you can get rid of it later on in the game, but for now it's quite good. Living off the land, double the harvest of wild and planted crops. This one's brilliant because you get twice as much of everything you chop. Um, which doesn't sound amazing, but on the way this 2.2 kilometers, I'll chop all the cotton. And then I can sell it to buy some drinks. And it's a better way of uh, getting some currency at the start of the game. So we want iron gut as well. Reduces the food and water loss from physical exertion. And cardio, so we got a bit better stamina regen. Now that should just get us so far. Now we'll go go to the trader. Just sit in all like the word and that on the way, collect any um feathers maybe I can make some more arrows obviously you want to you want to avoid zombies at the start of the game if you can but when you go on a on such a long track as this we're bound to run into them hoping for some eggs nope a few nests all in a row. Right, and we're right on the edge of the wasteland here. We don't want to be going in the wasteland yet. Up in the difficulty at the start. I mean, it won't be drastically difficult, but... Other things that could be annoying right now is like bears. If you find a bear, stumble across a bear or something, it's just game over. See when I hit that cotton I got two instead of one. That's actually quite effective way of making some currency to start the game. Oh gotcha. We'll just beat him up with an axe for a minute and then we can make a bone knife. There we go, and then we'll scrap this note because that's just a waste of time in our bags. Pick up stones on the way, and we got a zombie, a first zombie. We can probably go round him. Don't think I've aggroed him. <clears throat> Picking up stones, any cotton bushes, I mean sometimes you ban croissant from them, you also get XP for like chopping them and whatnot, so definitely worth doing at the start. Here we go, got like quite a few here look. and feathers still got quite a way to go should be some money in this a bag and some lock picks not bad can't complain actually just purchased a VR headset because I'm dying to play this game VR I think it'll be awesome and someone cleverly made a mod 
to turn this game into VR, so pretty soon I'm going to try that out. There we go. Oh, lost my bearings, there we go. 1.5 kilometers. So we've done 700 uh yeah, 700 kilometers. We were 2.2 away. Maybe we'll just kill this one. Soften a rock with an arrow. You want to hit them and then, like, move back. And then that way you don't ever get hit. It seems to work for, like, 90% of the zombies. Some of them you hit them and they stumble forward. Um, it seems to happen with bikers and the ones with the green shirts and the hoodies. They seem to stumble forward more than the others, but it's no biggie. Another zombie over there. Plenty of wood. See, I haven't already hit like I've hit like one tree for about six or seven wax, and now I'm just collecting wood as I run. I mean, it it won't ever be a, a sizable amount, but it'll be enough for the start. All this chrysanthemum, cotton. When you get near the trader, there seems to be like fields more of it. It's almost like they thought you might do this. I don't know, but obviously without that skill park, this would take twice as long, but I hope I'm not making you dizzy. Cars down there could loot. Why not? It's not that far off the beaten path, and you never know what you find. Ooh, we got a a mo. I think first opportunity I'll get, I'll put some uh, a skill point in the. Uh, to bat on the air into bats. Wait, some fuel, some repair kits. Those repair kits, I've got four already, and they're, they're pretty decent if you get a wrench or something. Early game just for repairing it when you're scrapping the cars. Let me just uh, repair this axe. There we go. And we've got another field of wool, cotton. No, there's like more than more than just selling it. You could you could turn it all into cloth and use that because that does become a thing where you need a lot of cloth, bandages and whatnot. But I always find I like find a clothes store and get it that way by scrapping all the clothes that you find in the wardrobes when you loot houses and whatnot. So I won't worry about it too much. Oh, missed that one, never mind. getting more rocks because as soon as I find a base I'm going to want to put a campfire there and we want a cooking pot as well
right, I'm gonna destroy this stump for the simple fact that I might get some honey. Um, so useful at the start of the game. Right, no honey, but never mind. Worth a try. And at least we've got some wood. What we got here? Some coal. I won't bother getting that now, there's no point really. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eat one. Whilst they're not exactly beneficial at the moment, it will reset my health bar dropping for a second. Instead of steadily declining because I'm starving, it just knocks that starving off for a couple minutes. Got a zombie. Always try and get a hit in when you knock them down as well. Because that, that's the time they can't really attack you back. Preferably a power attack. seen that before. We could flipped over caravan. Ah what's this house? It's fenced off so sometimes there's like a little uh ah water supply. Well there's a river river there so I'm not really uh worried about that but Check this. You never know if it was like a bit of corn in the garden or pumpkins, maybe. Got another zombie coming towards me. I'll take care of him and then I'll get that tree stump because it might have honey. So what have we got here? We've got 266 cotton, that's 638 dukes, and then 300 worth of chrysanthemum. So that's nearly a thousand dukes on the way. And we're not even done yet. Now I don't think there's a better way to start the game than doing that, honestly. I mean, you could go looting all the houses and whatnot, but you've got to do this anyway as part of your mission, so why not incorporate it into what you do at the start anyway? Right, we're 20 minutes in, we're 400 metres from the trader, and we're going to have over a thousand dukes. Right, 
my stamina's low, so I'm just going to walk away from him a minute. There we go. Back up a bit. Oh. Quite tanky, even though he's like a little bit useless. Always aim for the head, because sometimes that happens. Take them, we'll sell those. No point keeping these end game higher tier things at the start. I mean, you could stockpile it, but. Bit, bit pointless. I mean, we'll keep those. That was 10 pieces of plastic because you need 100 for the water filter, the do, do collector. And you want to get that ASAP. Um, I mean, if I could afford it on this first run to the merchants to the traders sorry oh we definitely get it ah could hear it i just couldn't see him right, let's repair this because it's a little bit beat up Lots of it all in one clump. actually know where we are if you carry on down that road here this sandy road you get to uh, the wasteland area and then you carry along until you find a church and then you go beyond the church and there's trader Jen so that's one of the traders chance at money here <coughs> wait how will we do him we're a bit over encumbered but not going to worry about it too much right now can I catch his chicken where's he gone The zombie will probably go for the chicken before he goes for me. No, he wants me. We got a gourmet zombie. Oh, you little shit. Get some meat. We'll definitely need this in a minute. Sandwich. Can't complain, and we eat that now. You feel sick. Got diarrhea. Awesome. Now I'm gonna stand out more to the zombies. They can smell you when you got diarrhea. And obviously, you use up food quicker. Right, 
we've got to the traders. Just picking up some rocks and whatnot on the way. so weird that you can't like get things that are within a block. I don't know what exploit people were doing to uh, make them have to do that. Right, first of all we want to check up here because there's a box and I think you get something half decent most times. Ten bullets. Well, that wasn't very good but sometimes you get a piece of armour. Um, What else we got here? Fists, painkillers, can't complain. Can't pick up the rock. There should be a bag up there. What time we got here? Four o'clock, we're fine, we got plenty of time. 26 minutes in and we're at the traders, that was 2.2 kilometers away. Improve rifle crafting, we'll learn that because why not? I'm, I'm in this for the long haul. Most people would be tempted to just sell them, but if it's useful, why not use it, you know? You need assistance. Forge ahead. I've got a couple of those to look for downstairs, actually. That's what we got here. Big hitters. What we got here? Pockets. Well, that's a great thing to have. Makes me not want to sell my cloth now. <laughs> But I will. So what we do first is, uh, may I see your inventory, sell these military armor parts, sell the money, um, sell these chrysanthemum. We got 504 dukes worth. So now we got 605 dukes. Now where's all that cotton gone? 950. Sell. We got 1,555 dukes. Now, if that isn't a good start, I don't know what is. Um, what else can we sell here? We don't need the pipes for a minute. No, we'll sell the fuel. Worthless. We'll sell this uh, goldenrod flower. I'm even tempted to sell these bullets at the minute. Um, sell this brass because we haven't got a forge, so it's worthless. The sand. What about these repair kits? Can I just sell half of them? Yeah. So 1680. Let's see what he's got to sell. Water filter is 2250, so we're not getting that. We could have just held on to the money and get something later. Uh, what we got here? Own cooking. They're 300 at the minute. See, we want to get some points. I could buy a cooking pot and a grill, but I'm not going to. There we go. Water. We'll buy two water. And we'll buy. These bacon and eggs are actually not that expensive for how useful they are at the start. We've got a thousand dukes left. Um, anything in the big list? Hmm. Much obliged, no. stranger. Right, so once you've dealt with him, what you want to do is crouch and go down the fireplace here. And then you drop down into his secret room or his bedroom, but there's a couple of little bits to loot down here. Some gothic shoes, we'll wear those. Furious fists. 
seems intent on giving me fist things, which is a bit boring. Check all these cupboards. We got some murky water and some beef. Some bones. Check the stove. Cold. Uh, on cook weekly. on the floor we got some ski goggles nice we get some agility from that um, I'll wear that for a minute check the toilet paper damn it's better when you get a dirty water but never mind and press the keys and that's how you get out then we got some other things to check around here we got this pickup truck Vehicle Adventures, nice. And then we should have some forge things. Uh, this workbench. Oh, we got an upgraded axe. That'll do. Scrap the old one. And if I remember, there's another. Yeah, one here. Right, that was strange. Chemistry station, and it had uh, food in it. Another forge ahead, some wood, should be a forge ahead in the air, yep. Righto, what way am I facing? I'm going to go out this door. Now I'm over encumbered. So, what do I want to do? Do I want to get rid of anything? I mean, two brass isn't doing nothing for anyone. Uh, where's my drink? We'll have a drink. And we'll have a bacon and eggs. And there should be a vending machine at the top of the stairs. On this side. Here we go. Right, that's weird. There's no water in there. And there usually is. So. Hmm. I think I'll take the miso because it gives you food and water. So I'll buy that. The cat food's just cheap. So I'll buy that. Hmm. And that'll do, I think, for now. <clears throat> now what we want to do... We've got a zombie here, I think. I'll leave that, he can clear that up. For not giving me a good deal. Yeah, if I just scavenged around a bit more, you know, there's plenty of hours left in the day, I could have probably got a water filter right at the start of the game. I think I'll do another water. Keep it up because if your stamina goes, you, you're dead anyway. You're just walking slow, you can't do nothing. Ruins it, ruins the game. Can I make a box yet? storage box we can a writable storage box so we'll craft one of those to use up those nails and then I'm gonna scrap the remaining ones to make some more room oh put 
put that on the box. On the bar, sorry. On the box. Now we need to find somewhere to set up as a base for the start. Um, bandage, not bad. Oh, should be hitting some tires and that if I find them as well. Getting ready, collecting the stuff for the Jew collector. All that. I think what I'm actually going to do is build a box and just dump off some stuff that I don't need. And we got a zombie here somewhere. Desert. That was strange. Uh, yeah, anyway, so we got to run back here to the trader anyway. So I might as well put a box halfway between there and where I'm going to set up base. And I can put things that are useful but that I don't need right now in there. Three more things. Let's go for the pipes, the lock picks. And I'll eat the cat food there. No longer encumbered. Until I picked up that plant. What an idiot. Drop that a minute. What I want to do is kill this zombie and check this house for a pot. Oh, that was a bit early. Oh, she's got a ratty on. They start moving faster when they get angry. What we got here? 10% more damage to wolves. Good, but I hope I don't see one too soon. Let's put it that way. There we go, cooking pot. Now we'll, we could stay and fight all this stuff, which I just heard, but we're not going to. Run over here, should be clear. Another sandwich, won't be eating that. Wow, if I get a suit, I'll get 5% less damage. That'll be quite a fun little uh, thing. Vehicle adventures. Took the headlights because they actually render quite good. Let's get rid of me here. Look at that hill full of cotton. We'll leave that for now.
Maybe I can make some arrows on the way. Where are the stone arrows? 84, I don't need that many. Let's go for 50. And that way I'll keep some stone. For a campfire. Oh, I forgot to take a mission from the trader. I should have took a mission, but it doesn't matter. I've got plenty of stuff to do. That was because I was too busy thinking about getting down the fireplace and robbing him blind. Like a reverse Santa, instead of leaving gifts, I'm taking all his stuff. I could go down this road, and there's like a caravan down there. Um. But sometimes, not all the time, there's a dog there. And obviously, I do not want to be running into a dog this early. So I'm going to carry on this way. Because I've got a, a sweet place to set up to start with. Not much farther. If anyone knows the area, you're probably thinking, where the hell is he talking about? But if you look in the middle of the water there, see that lovely little hut? It's absolutely brilliant for the start of the game. For a couple of reasons. Um, the zombies can't seem to get up there. And all you need is a bow and arrow to defend it on a horde knight for the first couple of hordes, which is brilliant for saving your ammo and whatnot in the early days. All I'll do is I'll wait for my stamina to fill up before I try and swim over there. Drink another water. If you kind of like just tap shift but not hold it, you don't drain your stamina so fast. It will still go down to zero before you get to the platform, but you'll make it much further. I'm like just gently tapping it, and you kind of still move fast because you're in the water. And then don't worry when you hit zero because you do go under the water. But your stamina just bounces back so quick, you can just hold shift, up on an angle, and you come back up again. There we go. If you can just keep yourself from drowning. Which is pretty easy, not gonna lie. There we go. Now sometimes there's a zombie up here, or it could be a buzzard. But it looks like there's nothing here. Ah, there is one. So we're gonna do a sneak attack because it does more damage. Oh, he's angry. He's also dead. Right, so first things first, get your land claim blocked down so no more zombies spawn on you. We want the cooking fire.
like so. We want to put the camp bed, uh, the bedroom down, sorry. We want to put a cooking pot in. Putting enough fuel oh, to cook these waters that we collected. There, we got seven minutes of fuel and three minutes needed, so that's plenty. Then we're going to make another box. Put it above the campfire. And that's where we're going to keep all our food and drink. bones in there as well because we use that to make the glue. Uh, meat, we'll put that there. What else we got? Eggs, beef, sandwich, some coffee, uh, potatoes, charred meat. I don't remember collecting that but I'm going to eat it. There we go, and we're not encumbered. Now I want to put this storage box where this trolley is, so I'm just going to destroy this. that we won't directly use. There we go. Now we can have a little quicker um, scan around. We got some tires here which are perfect for the polymers for your do collector. Um, Palette for some work. These pallets. More polymers. And some paper. I'm just going to hit this top one because I didn't want the bottom one to it go and then I don't get any from the top one. There we go. Stamina again. This stuff away while my stamina fills up. Put half a word. No, I won't. I'm going to keep the word because I'm going to make some boxes. Let's try ten. And some wooden hatches. Let's try two. that are in the way. this for the XP Let's 
One more. I don't know why it's being a bit awkward, but it is. Eventually I'll put another block there, another block there, and hatch these out so that you get a warning if anything comes up the ladders. There we go, water's done, turn that off. So, we've got 50 minutes into the game, we've been to the trader, we got a thousand dukes, we bought some food and water, um, just some bits and bobs we need, some bacon and eggs, and we're doing all right. We got, we're not going to starve. We got plenty to drink. We'll keep the food and drink with us. What, what else can we do here? Can we cook this meat up? We can cook that up. Just uh, oh, I can't prepare that because I need some wood, so we'll <coughs> get it from these pallets. That light works as well, which is nice. Firsty again. Clear up all this trash. Oh. This. I could probably make a stone shovel to deal with that faster. We got stone shovels. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Got a nice burning barrel. make two things. Can I make a double door yet? Three more word. My lucky day. Or not. I thought I'd get another piece of wood from that. That was annoying. Take that one a minute. Four. Craft. So, so, ah, another thing I forgot, hot bear is a crate.
I suppose I can uh, build all this up later. There's no rush on that. Of course it's not going to let me put a brick there, because that would be too easy. Vehicle adventures. And some oil shale. That's a bit of an unusual thing, I never get that so early. So what I do out here usually is I'll put all my farm plots along this edge and along this edge and then I have my dew collectors around here and you can put them on the roof if you wanted and then I build a platform out here so that I can get over to this side easier just run along the platform for like six blocks and then you're using less stamina and then I'll build a mine over there and I'll get all my clay and what not I need so I can make cobblestone and then I'll upgrade all the feet to this building let's make some cobblestone now because free XP and now we'll be doing on ah we got a skill point so I think if we put it in strength for now because we're gonna have to do clubs I think for the start of this save and that's how I start my first hour of seven days to die and I'll, if I do say so myself it's not a bad start so what I'll do is I'll eat and drink So I'm all full up, ready for tomorrow, and um, start day two. So it's literally been an hour for one day. Not bad. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe. Really helps me out. Uh, don't worry if you don't want to. That's fine, but really does help me out. Um, all the best. Later.